Here we go with our first section. On the inside, with number one, Pan Sinatra, four, and nine. Two, Tammy Lafour, and number four. Number three, Sabrina Ramos makes it this far. New York. Four, Irene Sennheimer from German Chandler. Five, Sandra Walsh from Blue Point. New York. Six is Katie Lapala from New Rochelle, New York. Seven is Leanne from Wind of Bay, eight is Jacqueline Vaughan and Clark, nine is Diana Alcas from Atlanta, ten Maria Tolito from Amarok, New York, eleven Brooke Gillette from Brainsville, New York, twelve is Courtney Buffinger from Bayport, New York, Jolie Castro is number thirteen, Blue Point, Katie Miao is hit number fourteen from Highland Mills, Victoria Parrish is hit 15 from Pleasantville, New York, and completing the field, Olivia Bulgin from Lisbon in Maine. Very much a technical event. As that wheel leaves the ground on the rear, it has to come forward straight all the way till it lands on the front foot, and then go back straight the whole way. The only time the knee can be bent is when it's coming off the rear before it lands straight. And then the judges have to see that there's not daylight being seen both feet at the same time. Not easy. Our early leader, Sabrina Rose Mason from East Crow. And then number 11, Brooke Gillette from Greensville. And number 2, Emily Laporta from Blue Point. at the Armour in New York at a couple of weeks we had something like four heats. The record is 7 minutes, 0, 0 0.87 by Heather Belletti back in 2006. She also set the national record that year at a very fast would race over 20 kilometers, just about 12 and a half miles, while the men do 20 kilometers, same distance, or 50 kilometers. And when you think how fast the guys can go at 50 kilometers, that's five miles further than a marathon, and the top guys do two hours, 58 minutes through the marathon distance, and then go on. Phenomenal. Gillette from Grahamsville has now gained 10 metres and comes up to the half mile. Really 56 at 880 yards. And as the race was set and built up very nicely in the our real friend of mine, a German town in Maryland, has bridged up into fourth and goes into third. You've got to be patient in this event, as in all distance events. Even pace is by far the best way to do this, unless of course you want to crush the opposition mentally by going early. And then of course you have to think of your technique when the pressure's on, you have to keep a cold face to it. Can't get excited. And Irene Brennemeyer is going into second now. She laid off the early pace. 
Very smart. Track side, we're getting ready for the second section, which will be the faster seeds. Brooke Gillette going away with every stride. He's very efficient. No wasted movement. Shoulders on a level plane. And she'll come up and hear the bell. Oh well. Where's the bell ringer? I think Glenn Meyer from Turnertown now playing in second, then into third. That's Caitlin Apollo from Gurusel. And then number three, Sabrina Rose Mason, the early leader. Down the back straight, goes our leader Brooke Gillette from Grahamsville. And all these results will be subject to confirmation from the judges, who can discuss it after the event. Now it could get interesting for second place. Have to keep a cool head. Sabrina Rose has come back to life, having been the early leader, and has gone into second. Here's our leader coming down the stretch. Brooke Tiller, a junior from Grahamsville, New York. Very solid. Here's your early leader in second, Sabrina Rose Mason, East Coast. She's also a junior. As is Irene Glenemeyer from Germantown, Maryland. It hurts. Taking Apollo from New Rochelle is fourth. And here's Samantha Walsh from Blue Point. Making a fashion statement with the socks is Kelsey Mitchell from Gorham in Maine. This is where they have to keep calm down the finishing straight. And with that, we'll bring them out for the senior section.